Hi, my name is Terry from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video two in our Woodland Sunset series, and this is my design team project for collage type for March of 2023. Now in video one, we did the front cover and the closure, and we also put the book together, or a folio, or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, we stamped it and inked it, and um, there was something else I was going to say. Oh, we went through the kit. We did a flip through of the kit. So now we're in video two, and we're going to start in here. And I couldn't figure out how I came out with an odd number of pages when I um numbered them. And then I realized it was because there's a page number back here. So that adds up to seven. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out how I got seven. I don't know. Anyway, somehow, somehow, actually I'm at six, which is what I should be. Go figure. I don't know. I give up. Anyway, so we're going to do page one, two, three, and four. Um, I may do four off camera, but you'll know exactly what I'm going to do um, before I do it. It just depends on how long I yap. So this page here, we're going to use our dear envelope, and I'm not going to cut it down. Um, the little corner of it's going to show from the front, but I'd rather that than trim a little bit off, and then that would make the back of the envelope not look right, okay? Because we can't trim a little off the top and a little off the bottom to make the corners match, because if we trim off the bottom, we're going to cut off his foot or feet. So we're going to take this envelope and we're going to attach it to this paper by way of a belly band made out of this material and we're going to ink it first. I tried it out on our scrap and it worked just dandy. Um, I had to change the head on my vintage photo because um, it was leaving little pieces which may not have been a bad thing. It may have looked a little more organic but you guys know me it was driving me crazy. So let's go ahead and cut the paper and ink it. Now, this is kind of a funny page. The paper only comes up to here. And remember, that's why we stamped the tops of everything. So um, it actually, I think it only comes up to there. I stamped over where I had the paper going. If I do the paper to here, I can just cover that little notch and nobody will ever know it was there. I think that's what we'll do. And we're going to do it from this way anyway because we need the deer to be down here at the bottom. So we're going to... We're going to do the deer here. I think we'll cut the paper there. Yeah, because that's a little crooked. So we'll cut the paper here. And then we'll cut it. And slide it over. And we'll cut the paper. Well, we want to see this, don't we? We want to see that. We'll cut the paper here. You can always make it a little shorter if it doesn't look right. There's a nice leftover. Okay. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so let's ink that. Didn't look like there was any ink on there, but there is. <laughs> A little carried away on that one side. Or the top, I mean. Then when we put the belly band on, we're going to put it on across the top. We're not going to cover the deer. I don't know, though. It's two inches wide. Oh, that's all right, because the envelope's going to stick up above the paper, so it won't matter if we put the belly band up here with just a little bit of space showing at the top. Okay, so let's, um, I tried it out. I thought maybe we were going to have to flap it, put a magnet on it, and then put two little uh, pieces of ephemera on it. But it looks like we're going to have plenty of space um, to put it on here. So let's figure out how much we need. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let me see if I can draw on this. It's paper. I should be able to. Just can't see. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Let's see if that's right. That'll do it. And we're going to put it across right here. And then instead of leaving it this color, this is a two inch wide piece of ribbon. And remember, it's paper ribbon. We're going to color it. Now, I had done it with the um, with this and it worked out fine. I'm not sure if I do want to use the brush. It might be too dark. So I just want to knock the light off of it. And it doesn't matter to me if a little bit of the light shines through or shows through. I just want it to be brown. It's kind of hard to tell. Well, it isn't when you put it up against that. But yeah, see, you can see where I haven't done it. And you have to be careful because you can break these little fibers. So you can't do it very hard. Okay, that looks better. I was worried it would make it look dirty. Okay, so we're going to put that across here. Like so. I'm going to have to mark lightly where to put the glue to hold it down because I'm not going to be able to put the glue on this paper lace. Okay, so I need to put the glue from here to here.
You won't need much to hold it on. We shouldn't anyway. Well, when it grabs, it grabs. I wonder if that's going to be tight enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then we are going to trim this a little bit. put something on it. I don't know. Depends on what we've got in the ephemera. Also, um, I may do something here on the back of the envelope just to um, dress it up a little bit. We'll have to put, you know, we can put some matching of this down here. That would be nice. How wide is it? Ooh. It just barely covers that point. So we could And then that would make it match. So let's ink that. Now, because this is lighter, that white actually didn't look bad, but we need to match it. Wow, it makes a really great stencil. <laughs> Very interesting. Look at the pattern that it makes. <laughs> kind of neat. Okay, so now I'm going to need to put the glue. Let's just, um, looks like we're going to have to trim it just a smidge on this one too. Um, let's just put it down the center, like a couple of stripes down the center of this half. Or we could even do something like this. Doesn't take much to hold it. Now, we remember, right, it grabbed right away.
and then we're going to have to let it dry for a second because, you know, the glue is going to come through. Trim this up. I wonder if I should try to trim that. You know, it's just going to make a mess. it doesn't really cover that much of it because it squares off and I'm not sure I want to try to cut a slant and a square and a slant. If I was going to do that I should have slid it inside and then uh, marked where to cut it and then cut it off but it's not going to matter because we're just putting it on as an accent and the flap's going to be shut. Okay. So all we have to do now is glue this on. I didn't put the envelope in the tall pocket because I'm going to print out some what I call stationery, which is I'm going to print this picture out on a piece of coffee dyed paper and then I'm just going to fold it and slide it down in this top pocket. I am going to cut it so it doesn't show. Um, the envelope is just the height of that tab. It's just perfect, but um, it's just wide enough that the corner of it shows. So let's, let's glue this paper down. here I put it over just a smidge and that helps cover up where this is a little crooked as you can see it's a little crooked right there but and then we just take this envelope and we slide it in here like so. Put the piece of stationery in and then we have a whole matching set. It's all matchy matchy which makes my little heart happy. So now on this part of it we need to do together um, Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Because I went back and forth on the paper. Um, we're going to take these two scraps and we're going to make pockets with them. Now, this one... is a little bit smaller so it's not going to reach the whole page over um, we are actually going to flip it over and do it this way then we're going to put this one on this way and we're going to cut it off so that it's the same size as the other one we're going to paper this paper the inside of this and then put the two pockets on so let's like I said we're gonna get this let's get it papered this 
this is going to be the writing card because we're going to use this flip down as a pocket. So this is going to be the writing card. No, this is going to be the writing card. This is the paper. Right, this is for two. This is to cover these. And to cover page four, we'll use this down here. All right, got myself confused because I changed my mind a couple times on how I wanted to do this. And we're going to have to stamp and ink the, the um, manila folder cards when we get them uh, ready. I wish I had another one that was longer. Um, then they both would go all the way across, but this doesn't go all the way across. So maybe the shorter one. Yeah, it still doesn't go quite all the way across. But I think I'm going to put one one way. I have no idea what. And one the other way. Okay. So this is going to be the paper for this. Forgot to ink it. to add in yes we need to add the envelope or the pocket on do I want to do that before I put it on the on the book see that is a little short could have gone up a little higher That's all right. With one of these kind of books, you're going to have everything all discombobulated anyway. And the reason that I'm doing this the way I am is because I realized I can't put anything too thick in between the two magnets or it won't close. I had that happen to me on a flip up before in a book. I ended up having to put a dot on, and there's no way to really put a dot on here. The reason we have to wait is because of the flip up. We need to see where that goes. And we are going to see part of the Amazon logo. So, let me move this down. I don't know though, the closer I get it to being even and be off just a little bit, then the more you're going to notice it. I have a funny feeling. Okay. 
So that's going to go there. And that'll give us writing space here. We're going to put this down here so it's going to be upside down when it's closed but it's going to be closed so it won't matter so we want to see some of this stamping so we're going to go here now this should be the exact right width except it's not because of it being crooked I'll glue it on as if it's right and then I will flip it up <clears throat> and trim this edge a little bit. That'll take the brown off and then it'll look like it's not inked right there. How am I going to do it? Oh, it doesn't really show. can put it on so it doesn't show. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to show the stamping. Let's ink this. No, I'm not going to turn the heater on now. It's because we're recording a video. <laughs> My heater has a blower on it, so you can hear it. So we just can't do it. And that'll give us writing space at the bottom. So this is going to be the writing page. Uh, seriously? <laughs> He's sitting there staring at me in front of the heater. <laughs> he knows that word, so I better quit saying it. going to go there. Um, I may put something in the corner down here. Got
I don't know though because of this here. I wonder if I have something with a fern on it. I have a bunny. And then put a little piece of this stuff behind it. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. Then the writing card, I believe we can just lay this paper on here. Let's double check. Mm hmm. Won't have to do anything to it but ink it. And then I will do something with the back. Let's round the corners. And then I'll ink it off camera and get it ready to go. I may stamp this in the corner and then put something over the top of it. You never know. That might be nice. Find something small that looks good. So I'll put this here. Now we need to paper the front of this, which I think... Wow, that fits perfect. Which is the same as this paper. Okay. I don't know how that happened. This is, oh, because cut it in half. back of the other paper or the bottom of the other paper. This is the bottom of the paper I cut to put on the other side. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so let's glue that on here. Still watching that series, that Viking series. I don't remember what channel it started out on, but it's on Peacock right now, Peacock Plus or whatever it's called. And it's really good. I'm in the middle of season five out of six seasons. They killed off, oh, they didn't kill off anybody. I'm not going to say, in case you guys go running out to watch it. <laughs> Right, so we have both of these papered. So now, well, I wasn't going to make the paper the same as. I wasn't going to make this paper the same as the paper inside on both. Because I think it'll be too much of this. So let me look and see. This. Hmm. I don't like that. Maybe I'll just put the pocket on the top. takes up some, all of our writing space, doesn't it? Put the pocket on 
on them. It wouldn't be if I put the green down here and the peach up here that would match this paper. Covers most of it anyway, doesn't it? You know, I really, I don't like that they don't go all the way across, or that this one doesn't go all the way across. This one does. In fact, I have to trim a little bit off. So, so it doesn't really matter about the paper, does it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this pocket on. And I think maybe we could make it a little bit shorter. So we see the paper. So let's trim it down. And we need to stamp it. Okay, that'll work. And then before we put it on, I'm going to stencil the top of it so it matches the other ones, or the other, all the other um, folder tabs. I like these Tim Holtz ones, the big thick rubber ones. Because they stick on really well and this um, well I was gonna say this acts as a cushion so you get a better stamp but I don't think I had ink in the center which doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see all of it yeah see that's better I just didn't have enough ink on it. Okay. 
then you need to ink around the outside of it. I wonder what it would look like if we just stamped it. No. Oh, I'm going to put paper on it. Um, are going to see that. Darn it. Oh well, nothing we can do about it now. So if we flip it the opposite way. I don't really want the tab towards the center. Okay, now No, I think this is what I was going to use in the first place. About this. Mm -mm. Okay, looks like we're going to cut into this big piece of paper just for this. Now, I'm just putting the paper up to this little part so that it matches the rest of the, um, the rest of the book. This is actually a little loose. Look at that. Now, since this is so porous, I could just put some more glue right down here and it will tighten that belly band right up. You know what I mean? Because it'll make it glued to here. And then it won't be able to move so far. So we'll do that. Just trimmed off the width just a little bit. I always get the sniffles when I start filming. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we need a lot more of that band glued down. Look at that. It almost is a hidden envelope. Almost. Because that fern lines up so well. end up being too tall.
The only thing about that big paper trimmer is it's so hard to get the um, littler pieces of paper on there because the guard is so wide on it that you can't push the paper up under there. Let's try that. Yeah, now it matches. Of course, now we see where the stamp didn't stamp. I was like, oh, you'll never see that. Yeah, those are the people with the big dog. However, they're moving in a week. No more big dog tromping up and down the stairs. They bought a puppy, too, that looks like it's part lab or something. And um, so they have a Weimaraner and this big furry furball puppy. And I'm kind of glad they're moving. I like them. They're very nice people. They're nice to have as neighbors, you know, as far as that goes. But, um, and I know my dog barks, but my dog usually barks when their dogs are tromping up and down the stairs. I'm just saying. So having that and having the pit bull gone, which was pretty noisy going up and down the stairs, I think it's going to make Oz a lot happier. Take him back to the good old days. Yeah, we'll put that right on there. I like that. I almost feel like just putting some sort of decoration right here like that and then leaving it with the writing paper. Hmm. All right, we're not going to put that pocket on right now. I'll do it off camera. Um, if I decide to do it, and, um, yeah, we'll take care of that. Here, I've wasted all this time talking and thinking. I hope it helps you when I think out loud and try to fix things that don't go the way they went in my head when I planned it ahead of time. Then we've got some cards that are already made come with the kit that we're going to use. Looks like I'm going to have to trim that a little bit. Nope, it was just on crooked. Okay, so, and that's these, and they fit right in there perfectly. So I'm wondering, I think I like these two mushroom cards together. Oh, here's a bunny one. Let's use a bunny one. The lighter color of the mushroom one. Should I use a bunny and a deer to match the deer? Or is that too matchy-matchy? I think that's too matchy-matchy. Okay, so I'll ink those. I'll find something to put on here. I'm not sure what. And let's, let's stick them in there for right now. I'll stick them this way so I remember to ink them. So I, obviously, they don't go that way. Even though they could. That might be a little more interesting, actually. I'm not sure about all that. Anyway, I'll take a look at it. Let's glue this down some more so I don't forget. I'm 
and the glue will soak right in. And then it'll make the pocket, the belly band tighter. Okay, yeah, that works a lot better. Holds a lot better, that's a whole half inch. Okay, all right, well that's gonna be it for this video. And um, let me put my bunny down here, or over here. So we'll do that, I'll do the two cards off camera. And then um, we've got our writing card that goes here. Here. So I don't know that I need to put anything up here because then this can be a writing page on top of the writing card with the two other writing cards. It's going to be a lot of writing space in this little um, folio, which you would not think there would be. Okay, all right, that's really it for this video. And I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.